So we're going to take a look back, but before we get into that, I want to say there is a giveaway tied to this video. Exactly what you need to do is a little bit on Twitter, but something at the end of this video too. So in this video, we're going to take a look back at the past month. What cards were good? What cards were bad? How are the stats for those cards? Not just a flip it. Hey, there, this one was good. This one was bad. And there's some topics of drama that we want to look at as well. So I did a video about some of the rage. I had to talk about it a little bit. The long and short of that video, obviously that was part of Dark Wolver. He comes out every once in a while, but it had to do with what was happening with some of the nerfs that we got. And I have to start off this video as far as the month recap with that topic, getting a card like Mobius nerfed so quickly. And I understand that Mobius wasn't necessarily in this past month but that sort of thing was something that i think was not good for the just general good community will of the game i didn't like it i talk about it a lot here i know a lot of people didn't like it i have to again start off with that comment this sort of thing in my mind meaning this sort of nerf so quickly after and i don't mean an ota nerf i don't mean like a you just release a card and you had to take one power from it or you had to add one cost to it or something along those lines that stuff i get that happens and i think we should be fine with that if needed but this sort of thing with a that hard of a nerf hitting a card like mobius so quickly it, to me it's unacceptable if it happens on a reoccurring basis once in a while mm, don't love it but i sort of get it and the fact that they like i had been or was getting ready to say in this video is that they knew they were going to make this adjustment down the road i don't like it if they're going to know that they need to share with us Hey, before you buy this card, just so you know, we are going to change something later. So be warned that you're going to buy this. Now, I actually do want to say that a lot of people were mad that they even said this and that they wanted our feedback. I'm fine with the fact they said this. I like transparency. Please do not hide this second dinner. Share with us this so we can give you our feedback. My feedback is don't do this. This is a bad thing to do. People are going to be mad. You continue to do this, you're going to lose a lot of faith in the player base. Some people will leave. Not everybody, but some people will leave and they will not like it. The people who are just going to buy all the cards, they'll, yeah, sure, they'll stick around. But trust me, I've played games where just the whales stick around and those games eventually die because they have no one to play with and or against. And in a card game, I would think at some point, if there are not enough players to play, it's going to be a problem. So this is the first thing that I wanted to bring up with the month recap. Again, I don't have the stats for how often or how quickly Second Dinner nerfs a card after release or after it's more readily available or something along those lines. If you do have those stats, please hit me up on Discord because I like to see numbers. I like to see some math behind it. And a lot of us are mad and I think rightfully so. I don't need to see numbers for this one but it's something that we need to keep an eye on and know what we're really talking about now the other part that i want to talk about that's semi-rageous rageous regis sorry regis i know regina's out there i hope you and the family are doing well congratulations again uh no rageous i'm talking about rage here is we haven't heard anything about series drops i thought they'd happen in september it's now november okay so i can't mention any of the season recap stuff without some of that as well where is it What's up with all of this, all right? Now, I don't have much more to say than the fact that I thought this spotlight cash system could be decent, given the fact that I thought that they'd eventually get to the math where it was like, all right, we can still continue to get decent amount of these. Now, not just that, but it looks like they're also going to start adding a new card every season pass week two, which means we're not getting series drops and they're having more new cards more frequently. Eek, eek, you're gonna see rage over that. All right, so now that we have all that rage stuff out of the way, let's go do some fun season recap stuff. I will provide a link to the season recap below if you've not seen it. I love that they do these. I always wanna share what mine are and help anybody who's unaware that these things are out there. Battle recap for the Bloodstone season. Your most played card is Elsa Bloodstone. You played it 213 times a season. I absolutely loved Elsa. This does not surprise me at all. Wouldn't be surprised if most people have something like that. Iron Man must be your favorite card. You upgraded it 33 times. This is funny because I literally just got that card. I liked it. I needed an Iron Man variant. I had a ton of boosters. That was the reason this ended up getting upgraded so much. I actually want to upgrade Nico Minero because I have the spotlight version of that, but I'm not going to pay gold to get the missing boosters. I just refuse to do that. I really wish 
there was a little bit more specific directive way to get boosters for cards yeah you can play it but i've literally left her as the lowest card that needs boosters and she's not getting them enough i'm like how many games do i have to play with this it's a little frustrating actually i promised that i was going to move on to more fun stuff sorry that just your mascot is Bucky Barnes. Your win rate is 71% when it's in your deck. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't even think I played Destroy that much this season. I, I'm wondering what the minimum or the number of games that they've got for something like that. I'm a little surprised there. I think I saw Hoogland had something where his most played card or something weird with, with Galactus. So uh, anyway, I, I don't know if it was that one or this one which is your most effective card is Morbius. Your win rate is 82% when playing it. Again, I'm sort of surprised by that. I didn't think I played discard that, that much with Black Knight. I didn't love him and I don't think I stuck with discard for very long. Uh, this is the variant that I've got for Morbius and I love that, but I'm kind of surprised with that win rate. I might have to go look at that again. That's pretty solid. You unlocked 42 new characters and variants this season. Your dynamic collection now features 657 unique cards. I have to guess that's on the low end as far as unique cards go because i have not been playing for as long as most people i started gosh wow now it's almost 10 or 11 months ago i started in january man i can't believe it's been that long already I'm guessing people who started with beta or shortly after or run global have way more than this. Uh, but that's kind of interesting. I guess it's a cool thing to see. Your lucky location is Lake Hellas. You won this location 74% of the time it appeared. That just says that location I've won. So I guess I'm good at winning that one. Cool. It'd be nice to know how many games I actually won when I won that location. You have seen Limbo the most this season, a total of 36 times. You know, I think this was the same as last season as well. And I was surprised because like, I didn't think Magic was being played as much. And I didn't think I was playing her that much. So I'm a little surprised to see that. But hey, uh, you know, it's a, I like extending the game a little bit. You caused mass mayhem for Elsa's team of monster hunters this Bloodstone season. Your medal shall be rewarded. Recruit Carnage for your next invasion. Interesting. So there's a purchase or something I can go to that. Now there is a web exclusive. I'm actually going to look at this now because I did the web exclusive for Wolverine because I got more credits. I want to see if it now lets me do this again because it said you could only buy one. So stay tuned. Now they're both showing up, but if I scroll up, it doesn't show my name yet. So I'm going to go ahead and register this in and it does disappear. Okay. So I think that's just a way to get you to go to the web shop. I bought the Wolverine one. It gives you a little bit more credits. 2100 versus the 1600 here so to me when i was looking at it, i was like okay i mean one i love wolverine i don't use them that much i just wolver thor wolverine you get it so i okay i mean i love it i i think this was worthwhile i bought that one unexpected add to the video there uh and then share your season recap and get a hundred credits so you know i'm gonna do that we'll share we'll go to the tweeters fill tweeters fill through tweeters tweeters fill here uh, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to Twitter. All right, this pops up. Give me them credits. Share time. All right, I love it. 100 credits have been sent to your account. Restart the game to check up. Please make sure you have upgraded to the newest patch. All right, so that's the season recap. Now I want to dive into some stats on the cards from the last season. We are going to look at snap.fan and untap.gg because I need to be able to look at specific cards for 30 days. So we're going to start off on snap.fan and we only care about the new cards. So let's start off with Elsa. We are sorted by win drawn and we are only going to look at win drawn and win played all right so when we get to elsa bloodstone she's at 56.24 percent as far as win percent win drawn 0.38 average cubes a little bit higher win rate when played and only i would have thought this would have gone up much much higher as far as when played but truth is is when you draw her you're likely playing her so that's probably why it doesn't go up that much and you can see pretty close to the top here next card in the list here was what man thing let's find man thing and here he is down at let's see 52.37 percent which is about three percent lower than elsa but a pretty big reduction in the average cubes and this only goes up slightly when played so that's you know a little higher than 50 percent we'll see how that ranks up compared to Let's jump into the next card, Black Knight. And Black Knight, 51%. So that's another reduction uh, of about a percent. And the average cubes is actually, sadly, a little bit higher. But when you get into the win, <laughs> win played percent here, it does go up a little bit. But it's not quite as high as either of the other ones. But this one's within about half a point of Man Thing. And it's a little bit higher average cubes here. So... Black Knight and Man-Thing are sort of around in the same range. Next up, we've got Nico. 
Oh, Nico, no, this can't be right. I, I refuse to accept these percentages. People just don't know how to play this card. Whoever's using the Snapdot fan uh, trackers, etc., learn to play. Ugh, dang it. I just really like Nico. I think she's a fantastic card. 51.4% That's basically the same as Black Knight. A little bit lower percent here. Uh, well, Black Knight's right above it. You can see. I mean, you can compare the two side by side here. I am shocked Nico is below Black Knight on the stats. I, I want to see what Untapped says as well. Ugh, geez, Louise. That's that's just not, not good at all. So now, last but not least, let's look at Werewolf here and see how he's doing. All right, Werewolf by Night. Let's see, 51.93%, uh, bringing him into third place. But holy cow, are those cubes terrible. Now, he's only got seven days. You got to remember, like, a little less time. And I will say one of the things in trying to play this card, it can be a little challenging. You really got to think about when you play it, what room is left on the board. I would have loved to see Werewolf by Night maybe be a 2-2 two -two and get him out a little bit earlier. And then if that was 2 OP, as far as the amount of points gained, then maybe reduce the points by one or maybe reduce them to a 2-1 or something like that. Anyway, that's a video for another day. When played, wow, is that actually, his cube rate goes down. Yikes, yikes. So as far as Snap.Fan goes, Elsa by far the top at 56%. Then you've got Man-Thing. And then you've got sort of, the, the other three are all sort of tied as far as win percents go. But average cubes, it's it goes... Oh, man, I guess Black Knight, Man Thing slash Nico, and Werewolf by Night at the bottom, like a lot. So we're not going to settle in with this. Let's check out untapped.gg and see what they're saying. All right, so we've got the last 30 days, rank 80 to 100 plus, series four and five, pool collection level, pool three plus. We could increase that, but let's just see right now. So right now in tier A, we've got Elsa, which makes sense. Tier B, all right, I like this one a little better. Nico, and honestly, it feels that way. Same thing with Werewolf by Night, who shows up shortly after her. I think he's a pretty good card. I think he's just difficult to play. Any other tier Bs? We're looking for Man, Thing, and or uh, Black Knight. Nope, looks like Black Knight and Man, Thing both show up in early tier C. So they're not quite trash down here. Uh, now let's go ahead and change pool three to 3000 plus see what that changes all right so now we've got elsa in tier a but not quite as high we've still got nico and werewolves bumped up a little bit so both of those in tier b anything else in tier b for these new cards nope tier c we've got man thing uh still in tier c and then black knight ends up dropping down to tier d which makes sense to me frankly because i think it's bad so I can see it now. Do I generally agree with how all this looks as far as uh, how it felt to me? Yeah, I kind of do. I think man thing could maybe arguably, arguably slide into the end of tier B. You know, could werewolf. I think these two feel good here. I think they do. I don't think anything other than Elsa deserves to be an A. Man thing, I could maybe argue to be up a little bit. I know some would argue Black Knight... The most I'd give Black Knight is maybe at the end of tier C, but that's it. So I think it was a pretty good season as far as the cards go. I like the balance. I didn't love the fact that they had to nerf Elsa, but I think we've all learned that anytime a card can give other cards plus three, what we have, we've had Surfer, there was another one, but it's Zabu reduced it too much. Hitmonkey was maybe plus, there was just plus three tends to be bad. Anytime you can give other cards multiple times of plus threes it's op so i love this season a lot of fun like i mentioned at the front end of the video we are doing a giveaway related to this video for every 1500 views it gets we're going to give away season pass for miss marvel we did a video well i shot it already but the video is coming out tomorrow before she's released if this video the one you're watching right now gets 1500 views i'll give away one season pass 3000 views two season passes add or 4,500, three season. Every 1,500 views, I'll give one away. So obviously my hope is, is it gives us tons of views, which obviously helps my financial situation to be able to give those away. 
the loss regardless, but still, I want to give away and share with the community. So share with your friends, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, all that sort of thing. On Twitter, we give specific details, but while you're here on YouTube, comment below. What we want you to comment below with, name one thing you're going to do this month with your friends. That's it. We just love to hear what you're going to do. I like to try to be a positive person most of the time, like spreading good positivity, all that sort of thing. And friends in positive, fun situations, Miss Marvel ties in with her. I'd love to hear below. So I appreciate you making this far. If you want to further support the channel, please hammer down that like button, notification bell, subscribe if you like. Until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day.